I cannot stop thinking about End of Ragnarok from Crown Blue Fantasy Relink, and so I'm going to talk about it in great detail. What an awesome fake out. When you meet uh, Bahama Versa, you think to yourself, okay, cool, like, wow, that's huge. And then when you experience the music, you're like, oh, wow, this is peak as hell. And what's really cool to me is how we start this piece, right? Counter melody between the vocals and with the with the, with the the instruments. Take a listen if you can. Listen to the way the movement is with the uh, orchestra versus the, the chorus. The chorus is going, right? But then listen to what the strings are doing underneath. So they're moving in an opposite direction while the chorus is sort of staying in a particular range, right? But what's cool to me actually is that somehow that also aids us in the supporting the chorus. And the chorus is quite big. Realistically, we don't need the strings to move because the chorus is so pronounced. So that's pretty cool. But then it's just a really beautiful choral section, honestly. Nice support there with the lower strings there too, if you check this out. Nice long bowing here. Rumble Fantasy Relink has this real positivity in the music in general. It's very rare that we hear a piece that makes us feel kind of really scared or concerned. There's not a ton of dissonance in this game, but what I really like about so much of it is that there is always a sense of heroicism. And heroicism is really exciting, I think, musically, because heroicism makes us feel like we are empowered. Heroicism makes us feel like anything is possible, anything is capable. And this is like literally a god. We are fighting against god itself in this moment, right? And there's something about the way that we thrust forward in here, we move into this next section, and it just is just so inspired. Let's let's dive in. Yeah, yeah, and that's really satisfying because we have a pretty prolonged, I think it was like eight bars. So just but it 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 right? That that sets us up really well. That sets us up to like, okay, this is a fight. We are in it now. There's a sustained moment where it's just us fighting. There's just music there that is like a bridge to which is funny because we're standing on a giant golden bridge, if you will. But this music is setting us up for what's to come. It's all intro music, but it feels very purposeful and why it's so long, you know, because it's like, okay, this is a hard fight. We're in it now. Here we go. Now we slow it down a little bit as we launch into the church bell, symbolizing God, same with the chorus before, and then It's worth pointing out that when we start this piece, when the lyrics come in, there's actually nothing underneath. There's just a little bit of support. The singing is the thing. And honestly, I don't know the lyrics. I tried looking them up. For whatever reason, I couldn't find them. But but the lyrics here are very 
poignant though. I, I know that. And I know that this is like a, a, a cry of desperation of like, we must do this. We have no choice. We have got to end this here. Send Bahamut Versa back. We need our, to rally everybody because Bahamut Versa is going to destroy everything we love. And I, I think it's really, 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 really satisfying to feel that intensity. It's just so good. And, and I love that the lyrics actually, as we point up like that, that's actually heroic. Again, we're, we've got hints of heroicism throughout this entire soundtrack, but especially End of Ragnarok, there's not a lot of, even though we're fighting against the God, this is like, my back is against the wall. I can't do anything else. I have to win. And we do win because of the way that the music is. I've got this. There's a slight build up in here too. You can feel that there's going to be a tempo increase pretty soon, but it's actually really subtle because it's all like sort of written in slightly. It's, it's exciting. That rhythm is really moving. Here we go. There you go. Rhythm shift. And actually what's really, really nice about this piece is that when we have a pickup and tempo like that, it's it's almost like plaintively explaining why things have to resolve here, why we need to fight, why we need to win, why we need to be victorious, why we need to march forward, why things need to happen. It, it's, it's more like telling a person rather than like a story about it's, it's like really feels like it's in the moment. Right. It feels like it's like the internal monologue of Gran and, and, and our friends about like how we need to take care of this in order to move on and in order to get our lives back. And that's that. Right. It doesn't feel very sing songy. It's much more uh, parlato, you know, spoken. It's much more about the, the text and enunciating. And also what's beautiful about the vowels here are very pure vowels. It's really, really clean to sing actually it's cool I love that electric guitar riff in there That's really fun. So that there's some English here. I want to I want to write have to and I need to go back all away away away. I could the place be someplace I belong. I belong. We go up to like a high G there, I think. And that's really fun because when we go up in the upper register, it's always to like exclaim something. I belong. But it's just so fun. God, and, it, and then the way that it picks up and then we get the melody they just work so beautifully together to create a sense of positive desperation if that makes sense. Like there's a real quality in there of like I've got to do this, baby. I've got to fight this. I have to win and i think like w that's a clear example of that by belong do, 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 do. it's so good now listen to that listen to this listen to how we get the electric car going battle do battle do battle do battle and you get the drums and you have the vocals so that that three mix there is really nice that trio is really really cool because you have three different things kind of doing their own but they all blend together so beautifully that it's really poignant and i think it, it aids in telling the story right here listen to the electric guitar right there Look at how the drums are supporting us. There's always the bass guitar under there supporting us with the chord structure. Key change. And actually, the key change is really informative. It's a rough place to stop. But the key change is really informative because it's like, no, no, no. 
I've got one more thing to say. But da 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 da. The key change is really fun because it makes us more impactful. It boosts the the importance of the stress level of what I'm trying to tell you. No, you don't understand. Like what I no, you don't understand. I'm trying to tell you something. That shift there vocally is uh, really exciting. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I love this too. How could I I love that really nice sustain note there. We have another shift pitch wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the muffled thing represents a risk or represents like not being sure. There's a little bit of like insecurity in there because we don't have it until four minutes in. Now, this is one big giant loop, but there's something about that that's. Maybe this is where the G the DPS check comes in and you're like, I don't know. Like, there's something about that muffled that's intentional for what's happening on the screen, which is pretty interesting. And also, and also, the way that the text is, the text is really intense. It's really pointed. No, no, no. I can't, I can't speak Japanese. But uh, the text is really, really pronounced, which I also think is really interesting. It's very crisp. A lot of consonants. That's also really satisfying because there's something about that that's like, no, 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 no. I'm telling you something. You need to pay attention to the words I'm saying. It very, it's very, it's very sibilant. There's, there's a lot of crisp. And I think that that also aids in highlighting how important the words are and how meaningful it is for you to understand that I need you to get this, that we're gonna fight this and we're gonna win, you know what I mean? Big swell there. And then we don't have it anymore. Love the strings there. Very expressive strings. Love that vocal line there, it's so great. Very expressive. Slow it down again. Real drum heavy there. It's so fun. Increasing stakes. Oh! This is Bahamut's power here. We don't know what he's going to do. It's funky as hell. Red. Uh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, it shreds so hard. I love the cascading there. Yeah. Slow it back down. It's so expressive. This is Muhammad's power again. Isn't that cool? That's really fun. Shredding like crazy. Love the slow part. This is real fear now. That call and response, that whispering in there. Yeah. Love that brutality in that. Comes the chorus. Yeah. Love those strings in there, though, huh? heard that before. Yeah, so you, you know what you know what I really like about this now that I've listened to it in its entirety. This is actually a power struggle between Bahamut Versa and uh, us, and I actually think that the chorus represents the Skyfarers, the, like the people, you know, our allies, our friends, Catalina, Lyria. Near the end, there, there's a call and response with the singer, uh, where there's like a dark version, and then there's the light version. I actually think that that's the power struggle between us and Bahamut Zero. There, that's a real intense thing, and this this whole thing is like it's such a, like a the, it's so funny because the music is so like bouncy, beautiful, playful in towns. And then you get here and it's like, it's just, fuck. If you like this, pretty much my entire playthrough is on uh, YouTube if you want to check it out on the live section tab. Uh, otherwise, there's lots more Grand Blue Fantasy to come. I just, I'm, I've honestly, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I loved it. I loved it every inch of it i'm still playing the post game there's a lot more to uncover there for sure as always thanks a ton uh, if you want to support the channel feel free and as always i'll see you later